Welcome back or to the channel. I bought the world's cheapest 2021 Ford Bronco. guys well here it is the 2021 Ford Bronco obviously as you can see by the title this is the world's cheapest well we'll get into that in a second when I first wanted to order I ordered this probably about a year and a half ago but when I ordered the Bronco I specced it out fully I did uh, you know four door cyber orange the whole nine leather interior this that and the other it'll probably tickle you if you wanted I don't know ticket on that was 56 Six something, almost fifty-seven thousand dollars, and in my head I said, "What? Pump the brakes? That's the price of like a brand new Cummins for a SUV." I said, mm -mm. "Uh, uh, this is literally a toy, a brand new Cummins. You can work with, you can pull trailers with, you can do this, that, and the other." You can mod it, add a whole bunch of horsepower, this, that, and the other. That's cool. But when I saw that ticket, I said, "No." absolutely not so i stripped everything out except a couple things which was about 675 dollars of add-ons so technically not the world's cheapest but also the world's cheapest bronco i opted for a two-door seven-speed manual transmission now as you know it's pretty much a six-speed with a crawler gear i will say the crawler gear bites oh it bites you put in crawl it's like it like i said it, it's pretty actually impressive so technically seven speed manual transmission, however, you're gonna pretty much drive it normally six speed, one through six crawling if you're actually crawling or off-roading this vehicle. But other than that, technically seven speed manual. And I opted for that. I don't think on, on a Wrangler, there is definitely a price difference between a manual and an automatic. I don't think there is in the Bronco. Um, I will say that the seven speed manual transmission comes with this 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine it's super quiet you can hardly hear the rpms when you need to shift um i think the guys over at banks power are working on that and we'll be able to uh give this thing some sound very soon but here it is nothing special cute little motor obviously turbocharged little guy down in there i think i think people i don't know how much i can disclose but that turbo may be able to be upgraded soon as well um, I know Roush makes a cold air intake for this that's like $500 and that seems a little ridiculous to me but uh, we may or may not test that out. But like I said nothing special under the hood. I don't know if I'm missing a engine cover or not. Uh, like I said these things as I said brand new parts available or not I don't think they'd, they'd hold up the production or getting this thing delivered without the engine cover so I got the guy at the dealer checking on that for me. Now everybody's favorite part about the new Broncos those LED running lights that actually circle the headlight and cut in where this amber one is right now. However, I didn't know on the models without the full LED like running light, it's an amber running light, which actually is kind of interesting. I do really, really enjoy this. Like I said, it's just different because everyone sees the Broncos, all the ads, this, then, the other. They advertise the ring with the stripe. So when I saw this was a running light, I was actually pleasantly surprised. 
I was also pleasantly surprised to get this Bronco and see that it came with factory LED headlights. Don't worry, we're gonna compare the Bronco to the Jeep, both stripped base to base, head to head. One of these vehicles, I think, does reign supreme. We'll get to that um, at a later date, but I wanna showcase the Bronco in all its glory. Obviously, you guys know the Bronco has not been around for a minute. They brought it back. And I'm actually kind of glad they did. Stripping this all the way down, because obviously we're gonna lift this. We're gonna put other wheels and tires on it. Um, so this thing has got the base of base steel wheels. Honestly, I've had uh, a mixture of responses on these. I don't really think they're all that, but a lot of people are like, oh, those steel wheels, that's awesome. And I would, and they're like, oh, I would totally just put some bigger mud tires on this and call it a day. Very well, you could do that. But if you want, you know, if you want to keep the base steel wheels, you can. If not, obviously lift it and upgrade it. We're obviously going to do that. We got stuff in in play already. Don't you worry for this right here. Obviously, two door. Something I found super sweet. Mirrors are bolted to the body of the Bronco, not the doors like the Jeep. That's pretty sweet. Um, you look in here too. All of these, you know, bolts and nuts. They uh, first of all accessory ready. It's all over the Bronco ready for modification, which is pretty sweet. But all of these little, you know, torque spits in here do read Bronco, so everything in here, Ford really paid attention to detail. Cool Bronco across the, um, across the windshield here, EST 1966. Front tow hooks, blacked out Bronco on the grill. Obviously, this is gonna be everyone's favorite thing to color match. Pop the letters out of this, paint them white, paint them to match, cyber orange, area 51, cactus gray, whatever you, um, you know, your, your vehicle's painted. You could pop these out, color match them, give them, you know, that little bit of accent. Standard Bronco flares, black. If you go up in packages, these can come color matched. They are pretty darn smooth, so they shouldn't be hard to color match after the fact um, either way. So if you're, 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 you're thinking you're on the edge, you don't want to put the money into an upper package, and but you want these color matched, those should, those are probably very easy to do. Plastic's very smooth, not extremely textured. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. What held these Broncos up all in all was the hard top. Every single Bronco that was made um, with a hard top had um, an issue. I don't know what it was. There was a manufacturing issue with these hard tops, but uh, they figured it out. And here we have a two door Bronco hard top in all its glory. As you can see all around the Bronco, accessory ready, little places all over this thing so it's ready for modification rear suspension on this thing looks like struts all the way around um, you can see here bolts at the frame at an angle this thing rides pretty darn smooth this thing um, takes abuse I will say that the Wrangler I said we'll get into the comparison in the near future but the Wrangler I will say does ride more like you're on a cloud this rides like it's ready to take abuse. You know, it hits a bump. It really, you know, absorbs it this, that, and the other. So with this, it, I'm pretty impressed with this vehicle. And like I said, I'm a Chrysler guy. I'm a Mopar guy. So giving Ford some props is saying a lot for me. Bronco badge on the rear. Tail lights here. Pretty standard. I think they do have LED um, OEM ones. We may or may not upgrade them. I don't know but uh, standard tail lights in the rear. You do have a spare tire like a Wrangler um, and your rear view camera sticks out of the center like the Wrangler as well. Good field of view, this and the other. I like how it sticks out quite far. So when you get different wheels on here, different offset, um, you, you know, you're still gonna see it without the wheel or tire combination intervening with your rear view. I will be interested, I gotta look into this. So on the Wranglers, you can adjust this so you can fit a bigger tire. I don't know if that's the case on these. Um, if it is, sweet. If not, there's gotta be something in the works by a bunch of companies to get this, um, you know, risen or deleted in a different location put in for your third brake light. Um, like I said, this is, right now, you could probably fit a 35 on here and that's about it. So anything bigger, sevens, um, eights, whatever you're going to, 40s if you're lifting it that tall. Um, I'll be interested to see aftermarket options or factory options to uh, get this lifted like the Wrangler can. Pretty standard door hinges here on the rear. Nothing too crazy. Bronco emblem, Ford over here. Um, I will say, you guys, this also this emblem can be separated, taken apart, and color matched as well, like a lot of the Super Duties. So you can pop this out, 
go in the back, drill out the plastic weld, separate it, paint it, put it back together. So that's pretty sweet. Trunk here, obviously you guys can see I'm putting it to use already. Um, there's a shock on the rear gate. So it comes out here and then you can push it out fully. Swings pretty darn wide. <laughs> this cute little baby wiper on the rear. Rear defroster as well. This glass will open up and give you your trunk space. Decent amount of space. Um, pretty interesting, this door does open and close all the way up to the weather stripping. So as you can see, the factory floor mats, I told the people at the dealership, do not touch this because we're gonna unwrap this ourselves and really show you every last thing about this Bronco, the whole process, this, that, and the other. Every vehicle I buy, or order for that matter. I tell them don't detail it when it comes in, leave it how it is, put the antennas on, whatever you need. The rest of it, just leave it to me because that, that's that's a fun part in all this. So floor mats are back here. Um, it actually comes with all weather floor mats, which are pretty sweet, carpet floor mats. And um, that's about uh, it in there. This is for the, <laughs> the Super Duty I'm working on. And this is, you know, paint supplies. But um, rest of it, just like the Wrangler, quick disconnect for the rear uh, washer and wiring for the rear glass. So when you're ready to take the hard top out, Torx bolts all the way up. Uh, I haven't even taken the front panels off because it's it's pretty much winter now. So I'm interested to see how heavy this is, how easy it is to take the front off um, and all of that. Tow hook in the rear, gas door, easy, uh, Easy fill here, that's pretty sweet. U15, U14, U13, little Easter eggs in here. Oh, that's the old Bronco, you can strip it. That's the full look, that's the, you know, that's the one with the cap off and the doors on, and that one's with the, uh, you know, hard top off and the doors off, that is pretty sweet. So I guess Bronco's doing some Easter eggs just like the Wrangler, so that's pretty sweet. They're, they're, they're fighting back and forth right now. Even the TRX and the Raptor, they're fighting. I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Same thing on this side, nothing special in the rear. Steels, looks like a coil over. And this huge, actually huge, tubular four link, both front and rear on this thing. I would assume it's a four link, I don't see the upper arm yet, but yeah, huge, tubular, sturdy. Wrangler, square tube, not as sturdy as I think this is. Over here we've got, I optioned for this keypad to be here, because I think that's sweet. Obviously on uh, Ford vehicles, if you know you've hit 7, 8, 9, 0 at the same time, it'll lock once, hit it again, it'll beep. Um, but that can lock your doors without the key, even without touchless entry. So that's pretty sweet. You can always lock it. Um, you're going to have to unlock it to enter, but you can lock it without taking the key out of your pocket. Right here, frameless windows. Pretty sweet, lets you know that the fob is not in the vehicle because it is in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, frameless windows on this. This is actually quite a large, large door. I'm interested to see if the four and the two doors are the same size. That's pretty sweet. As you can see, the door comes in here, extends through the door panel, gives you the exterior color um, inside as well. So that's pretty sweet. I found that pretty, you know, pretty neat. It's not leather. Um, I think it is. I can't tell if it's plastic or the metal yet because this does seem a little more sturdy here compared to here. Um, but when we get these door panels off for the first time, we'll really uh, be able to uh, see what part of the door or if this is actually part of the door panel that is just matched to the exterior. But um, like I said, pretty pretty cool accent there. Let's take a look at the door sticker really quick. As you can see, 2021 two-door, four by four base, four passenger, 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Um, <clears throat> I4, I think that's an inline four, seven speed manual trans. As you can see, A is advertised as a seven speed manual. It's not actually a six speed. Like, I mean, technically it is, but you do have that crawler gear. So it is a seven speed manual. One, two, three, four, five, six with the crawl. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Um, I'll be honest, getting this even on back roads, six gear, I don't think I've used it but once. This thing's gearing is actually pretty darn decent. As you can see, like I said, I stripped this thing all the way down. Put the fuel economy really quick. 21 MPG, small ratings of four. I find that quite interesting considering like my Hellcat is a, a one. So that's pretty low, but I really don't even care about any of this anyway. Over here, five star safety ratings, not exactly tested yet. And then over here, as you can see, base price of $28,500 with 600, $675 of additions. And uh, the destination delivery fee is, the destination and delivery fee is $1,500, which I really don't count. 
Uh, so the total price of this vehicle is actually $29,175. After the destination and delivery, you have a total MSRP of $30,670, but like I said, in special order, obviously. But um, like I said, the total cost of this vehicle without the destination and delivery is $29,175. Now, I did add $675 in options for my own personal thing, but like I said, this vehicle itself without a few things is actually $28,500. Like I said, I stripped a fully loaded Bronco down to this um, because when I saw that and it was under $30,000, I said, that is incredible. And I said, yes, I want that. I don't want no $56,000 SUV that's literally a car. You can off-road it, cool. Are you actually gonna off-road a brand new vehicle and like bounce it? Some people will, most people won't. So in that instance, I was like, yeah, let me strip it all the way down. And when I saw that $28,000 price tag, I said, yeah, I'll splurge for $600 in options. And those options are obviously with the, the, the hard top issue, the, Hard top carpet came free, but we added front for, front floor liners, front and rear, just because 160 bucks really didn't matter. Keyless entry pad, I added that for $110, and I added the auxiliary switches. These up here, because I'm like, you know what? I usually buy a vehicle and wish it had them because it makes wiring any accessory lighting or whatever you need to the vehicle so much easier. It's already relayed, it's already fused. All you gotta do is tap into the wire and call it a day. So honestly, these are in a sick placement too. Really out of your way, not really showing up down here uh, or anything. So it kind of stays out of your field of vision the whole time until you need something, boom, flip it on. I give them props on this. I like this placement for sure. Other than this, like I said, basic things. Um, staring equipment on this Bronco, it, it, nothing crazy, but um, I am extremely satisfied. So in here, I'm gonna say first things first, this tachometer really did freak me out because especially when you can't hear this thing, really when trying to drive and shift with road noise, it's actually dead quiet. So um, trying to hear when you need to shift, kind of difficult. And I'm looking for the tack like over here um, and that's your you know speedometer. So looking for the tack, not seeing the tack and seeing this, how it's like 0.8, let me rev it up for you. It's like 2.1, 2.3, 2.4. You can see the line go up like that. And like to, it, like doing math, it's kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, but I'm getting used to it. This so much here, you know, you can add this. You can go through the page. There's a lot you can do to this. I haven't even fully explored all of what's available um, in these menus yet. I know you could come here, do this. This says configure my view, calm screen. So there's nothing. Oop. Yeah, you see, you could take that extra menu out. You can add the fuel economy. You can go through here, trip one. I guess I'm averaging 19.5 miles a gallon already in I guess eight hours of drive time in 176 miles. Off-road, haven't really seen that page, but that's pretty sweet. It'll tell you what's, uh, you know, what's happening with your axles, your lockers, all of that. Tire pressure, that's pretty sweet. Very high quality images on all of this, actually. Here's the gauge screen if you wanna run that. Turbo boost, coolant temp, this, that, and the other. And like I said, come here, see what's playing on the radio right now, which is nothing. And you can come down here, add screens, do whatever. Uh, like I said, I've got them all selected right now, but you can do turbo boost, battery voltage now playing, oil temperature, pitch and roll, off-road, trip one, two, fuel economy and then your calm screen one thing i do find interesting on this it does not let you stay in non-automatic headlights every time you start this bronco it literally kicks itself to automatic every time i will also say this thing has automatic high beam headlights so you'll be driving high beams will kick on and then they'll kick off when there's someone coming this that and the other i personally find that that makes me quite angry i don't like how the lights come on and off and on and off and all this stuff so there's actually a setting i found last night we will turn that off in a second when we go over the radio so that's one thing my only concern with this not really but it always kicks on the auto headlights i really don't like auto headlights but um because i personally like turning them on and off but it really doesn't matter getting used to it that it's whatever another thing i do not enjoy although i guess coming more standard issue 
nowadays is the parking brake it is a lever so <laughs> when especially in a you know a manual vehicle coming down here to hit this button um yeah it's kind of weird i'm used to you know getting off and pushing that uh to put your parking brake on or in a wrangler i like the hand thing here so i kind of wish there was a hand uh, parking brake but uh, i guess i will have to get over it push button start vents pretty well designed in here i like this i like that one and over here integrated handle not one up here um, and then your other vent is down in there when turning lanes you do have the touch to switch which is pretty sweet um, front and rear wipers you got your uh, squirters over here pretty sweet in the base model basic rear view mirror nothing special nothing fancy coming to the radio here obviously for a base model fully stripped this is not an upgraded screen this thing is quite large i know when thinking the uh the higher model broncos the screen gets even bigger but for this little you know suv this screen is actually massive i am thoroughly impressed with this especially compared to a wrangler this is this is obnoxious this is literally everything you need touchscreen very responsive very nice you got obviously a whole bunch of options in your settings this is where i wanted to show you um there's a lot of stuff in here you could do touch beep all, you pretty much you can really um you can really change a lot of settings in here to make it you know a, a, a drive the way you want 30 minute idle max you hit the eye it really tells you um a lot 30 minute idle if the vehicle is left unattended you could turn that off if you want or let it idle the whole time my key i think that's for parents um lighting this is what i was talking about so when you guys get a bronco or you're looking to get a bronco and those high beams piss you off as well you could turn those auto high beams off because i am gonna do that that's for sure um locks i haven't really even gotten to this yet Auto lock, auto unlock, miss lock, chirp. I don't even know what this means. Prevents the vehicle from being unlocked from inside the vehicle. That seems really weird. Um, anyway, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. If you get a Bronco, you can go through this and do a lot. Um, and as I figured it all out, valet mode, there's that. Apps, um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, ready to go. Down here, you do have a... You do have a USB-C and a USB 3.0 down in the uh, cubby here. That's sweet. Another thing over here, it does say accessory ready, ready to go here. This Bronco is pretty much set up um, for adding things left and right to this. Here's the little cool goat mode things. I found this on accident, um, but I usually drive this thing in sport, not to be fast, but I feel like um, in normal mode, this thing does lack some nuts so i usually drive this thing in sport mode and call it a day slippery really does limit uh see four by four shift in progress automatically puts you in four by four and i don't know what sand does does it keep you in four by four oh it turns your traction control off and it brings up your off-road screen that's pretty sweet hold on wait for that again see off-road use only for sand that's pretty sweet anyway we'll go back to sport It'll keep us in two-wheel drive should shift out yep oh i guess you can't do four low in sport mode but anyway um too high just like that shifter does feel pretty good i did find it weird in the beginning because when i got in the bronco it was sitting like this so the guy at the dealership parked it in gear and i was like this seems like this would be neutral but no this is neutral here so is a little bit lower than expected but once you get used to it, this thing is butter. Shifting this thing, just like when I had my Volkswagen Jetta. Honestly, legitimately butter. Uh, I can't say anything better or worse. You can literally do it with um, one finger when needed. Like my truck, very uh, difficult, but this literally butter. So if you're thinking between an auto and a manual and you think it's gonna be a chore to drive, it's really not it's really fun it's super easy clutch is lighter than all can be um almost lighter than the gas pedal so you don't even know it's there and like i said super easy to drive the stick version so if you're thinking one or the other honestly opt for the stick you will not be disappointed i promise you that get it in the crawl gear you do have to pull like right now that's in second it does tell you on the dash what gear you're in which is pretty sweet um see two three four five um but to get it in crawl you pull the collar up back into crawl 
says you're in crawl. This to get it in reverse, same difference, but over and up. Backup camera comes on. So, honestly, very well designed. Nothing crazy, but like I said, it's literally butter. Look at that, one finger. So like I said, I know a lot of people sit there trying to decide between auto and manual and then they, at the end they're like, oh, it might be a chore to drive. Literally, shifters butter, clutches butter. Don't have to worry about anything, really, really don't. Super easy, super fun to drive. Um, literally, zero complaints. So if you're thinking manual, get one. Here, uh, you can switch songs and stuff on the wheel. So even though there's a base model, pretty, you know, pretty well up graded for what it is uh, volume controls here switch songs there phone um, phone buttons there menu all up in here back this that and the other uh, cruise controls over here so this thing it, like I said for what it is base model fully stripped quite quite impressive and how much it's actually loaded out for what it is typical cloth seats still wrapped in plastic we're gonna tear this thing open in probably the next video we'll get these windows tinted because as you can see there's no privacy glass on any of this um, hard top dead clear so you could see through every single window so we'll definitely throw some tin on this really get this thing open you can see all the cloth seats are basic black cloth seats nothing to it um, but We'll get this open for you guys in the next video and show you guys everything and really unpackage this like you know like you would receive this at the dealer but i personally like doing it because it's like unwrapping your own gift to yourself so i don't know one other thing up here some buttons here that's your trash and control they're literally soft buttons they integrate in the dash pretty sweet honestly climate controls are right here guys everything you need like i said defrost face feet all that AC circulate the air rear defroster heat controls here not dual not dual climate control but not complaining uh, this thing does get hot I haven't really tried the AC yet because we don't need it it's freezing outside um, volume knobs change the song pause the song here also located there also located here so like I said for what it is everything you really need nothing more nothing less like I said big screen giant LCD there awesome setup there when you option for the aux switches those are right there back seat i got some stuff in there literally just you know two-door typical back seat there's decent amount of room back there actually uh plenty of room back there for you know kids might be a chore to get them in a car seat but if you want a two-door a little sporty thing and you got you know you don't really need a car seat that's 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 pretty sweet a lot of room um not only not only seat wise but um on the floor as well like i said this also comes with the hard top storage panels pretty sweet but like i said a lot of a lot of room back there it is a four seater cup holders in the rear speakers on the ro rear roll bar uh 12 volt outlet back there as well um but like i said there's a lot of room in this back seat other than that guys hope you guys enjoy this new build i know i've been waiting for it for a year uh you're gonna see what my actual plan is very soon with this i think you guys are gonna actually actually enjoy it little mix up we are still gonna work on the first gen don't worry about that after that full resto on the pink super duty um just need a break work on some new stuff for a while um you know gets re-satisfied with changing vehicles and not spend endless months on them so and the wrangler are both gonna be fun intermediate projects throughout the winter um so i I promise you, you guys are going to be thrilled because I don't think I've seen anybody do what I'm about to do. I don't think I've seen anybody do that, or especially at the same time, or especially on the same channel. So I think you guys are really going to like it, and um, you'll find out a lot more in one of the upcoming videos. So guys, like I said, here it is. So guys, here it is. The 2021 Ford Bronco Base. Nothing to it nothing special but that's my job my job is to make something so simple so special i'm going to show all of you guys that you don't need a high-end fifty-six thousand dollar bronco to make it look cool drive awesome this that and the other this thing is stripped it's a base and uh i think you guys are going to be thrilled with the outcome of the bronco if you guys are excited about this build drop it in the comments below can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and uh, i want to say thank you for your support and i think you guys are really going to enjoy what's about to go down well guys that's going to do it for today's video if you enjoyed this video shoot a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe drop me a comment while you're down there take care and i will see you guys in the next one get excited for a new new build multiple new builds actually on this channel get excited because it's about to be nuts see you guys very soon